Hi, I'm Jackie O'Fee from Signature Style and you would have noticed that scarves are everywhere at the moment. But how do you wear them? Beyond that typical pashmina knot thing. So I'm here to show you a few ways that you can wear your scarves today. So this is Mira and she's going to help me demonstrate some scarf tying for you. Now this is a nice long scarf and it's sort of fairly typical of a lot you'll see in store at the moment. It's, you know, you can do your classic bend it in half, just wrap it round and tie it through, which is fairly standard sort of what's sort of considered now to be sort of a French knot. And that's really easy, but what it actually does is it sort of draws in a line down through the body, so it's quite flattering for a lot of women to wear. But it's a bit boring, we can have a bit more fun than that. What you can also do with a long scarf that's quite a lot of fun, is tie it and then actually start tying knots in the end of it. And so it creates a little point of interest, but it also gives your scarf some weight. So as it goes and hangs, it's actually got little bits of detail happening through. So that's quite a fun little way of wearing a scarf, just nice and long, and again, just sort of elongating your body and just having a bit of fun with it. But the weight and the knot holds it there as you walk around through the day, so that's a wee bit of fun with those. What we can also do with a nice long scarf like this is you can loop it around your neck a few times and you can decide how cold you are and so therefore how tight you really want to wear it. So it's a good idea to find, start halfway and instead of that natural instinct is to put it behind your neck, instead actually start from the front. So what we'll do is if we start from the front, and I'll just get you to turn around, and see it just sort of hangs down through here. Now you could actually just do the reverse and have that hanging down at the back of your jacket, which is really lovely. And from the front, you've got this nice sort of elegant look. That's actually really, really good if you're doing something evening-y, but you want to look slightly different. But what you do is you bring it down through the back, try not to strangle you, right? And then you just twist it through and bring it round to the front. And then you can loop through this way. And again, it's keeping the lines nice and long, which works when you've got a long scarf like this. And that's pretty chic. It's still giving you a little bit of interest up here and then down through here as well. So moving on from a long scarf, let's have a look at some bigger ones. So with a slightly bigger scarf, what you want to do, or quite a fun way to wear this, is again starting with it in the front. So instead of you know that temptation to take it from the back, just start in the front. So it falls down here, and there's too much bulk to do that nice long line thing. So just a wee twist, back round to the front here, and you want to have this bit to be quite sort of loose. And then just take this and twist it through underneath, but instead of just sort of leaving it like that, pull this top one over it so it sits kind of cowly, like a little sort of cow neck jersey might. And then sort of, so you're covering the knot, and that way you've got this kind of neat little tie down through the front like this. And that looks fabulous under a jacket, but if you've got a soft enough scarf, that's actually not too bulky to have sitting just as you go out day to day. And that's quite a stylish way to wear it, because you've still got that nice opening at the neck, and it draws that through. So that's a really cool way to wear that. Now another way that you can tie the same scarf, which is completely different and quite feminine, is to just loop it around your neck like that, but actually take one side to be quite a lot shorter than the other. And then take the longer side over the top of the short side, bring it up through underneath, as if you're going to tie it in a knot, but don't tie it in a knot. Instead just let it sort of bow out, so it sits sort of nicely in this little bow and falls over the knot like that. Now to finish that off, what you can do is you can put a lovely brooch on, we've got one. What we've got here is just a nice little brooch, brooch that'll kind of in there and just give it that real sort of Parisian kind of look. So it's nice and asymmetrical, it's quite fun but it's framing the face and that's one of the things that scarves will do for you. They frame your face and they bring attention to your face and they can dress up even the plainest of little tops. So that's a really cute way to wear that scarf. Now, if you're really overwhelmed by the whole scarf thing, you can really get the cheats one. You might have seen some of these out there, just big loops. Now, these are really easy, because all you want to do is, you obviously, you just loop it around your neck, and you can go as many times as you like. So you can have it quite long if you want to, or if you wanted to just sort of, you know, have a shorter scarf, you just sort of loop it again. And you keep going until you've got the desired look. But there's nothing to tuck in, it's just really, really easy, and they're actually really cosy. Now sometimes you don't want such a bulky scarf because you're sort of 
perhaps going out to a cafe or meeting some girls for lunch and don't want all of that bulk around your neck. So little silk scarves are also a gorgeous way to pep up just a plain little top or t-shirt. And what you can do with a simple one like this is just, as we started with, you can sort of start with something this simple. You can also, um, I quite like doing it, and I call it my ear hostess look really, um, where you take it right up to your neck and actually just tie a bow. Because if you've got one that's short enough and fine enough, what you end up with is a really cute little pop of colour just at your neck, so it kind of replaces a necklace or anything like that, and it's just really, really sweet. Now this scarf, because it is so sheer and doesn't have a whole lot of bulk, can do that really easily. But you can even get smaller ones than this one, which is really little, really fine. And what you can do with that is just use it almost as a choker. Now, keep in mind you need a decent length of your neck, actually. If I would just go over the top of your ear. And I'm just going to tie a little bow in the back because it gets rid of those long ends. Tuck it under your hair. We'll just have that little bow sitting there just at your back, at the nape of your neck, which is quite sexy. And then if you just turn around and face the front mirror, it's just that nice little choker happening here. That's great underneath a shirt or just with a t-shirt, but it just gives you a little bit of short, really. And the other thing to think about, as I said, you need a decent length of your neck. You won't be able to do that if you've got a short neck, I'm sorry, or you'll look like you're sort of choking yourself. So be aware of that. But that's a really sweet way to just jazz something up a little bit. Now, most of you will have a scarf like that in your wardrobe, or if you don't, you'll have access to one, perhaps in Nana's wardrobe. So one of the ways to do this one is to fold it on a diagonal, so you've got that sort of triangular shape. And then actually start with that in the front, so you've got the points coming down through the front there. Turn it around behind you, just a twist at the back there, and just bring these pieces through and sit them on top of that. So you're sort of creating that little cowgirl kind of look. Now the way to stop that being too nannery is about the scarf. So if you have yourself a funky little scarf like this animal print one we've got here, that's going to keep it kind of relevant and fresh. If you're doing it with an Hermes scarf, for example, you really are working quite a classic, possibly older style. But that sort of thing keeps it nice and fun. So keep your scarf young and it'll keep young for you. Now another way you can wear your big square scarf, again taking it to that diagonal, so you've got point to point. And the reason you go to a diagonal is because it gives you length. And then just sort of fold it up so you've got length happening through here. And all you're wanting to do with this is, you know, just dress up a plain top, a singlet top in summer or whatever. So just bring it down and tie this in just a bow, but kind of low, so it's sitting at your bust or just below it. And that just will add a little something to a t-shirt or a singlet top and it just makes it a little pop of colour. So another way you can wear a longer scarf like this, and this is a particularly spectacular one with gorgeous, gorgeous lyrics through it, is just to bring it through. And then if you have sort of a, a nice bangle or something like that, you could actually thread it through a bangle. Now I've got one of these really clever little things that you may have seen out there, which is actually all magnets. So it sort of works back on itself and you can loop it on itself. But what it works with really well in here is that you can actually wrap it around your scarf. And it works particularly well with the scarf because the colours work. So if you choose a scarf that then works perhaps with your silver bangle or something like that, and then you can actually play and just have a little, almost like a, a tie through there. And then you can move that up or down to wherever you want. And you've got sort of that more classic sort of evening-y look. So have a bit of fun with some bangles or maybe you've got a fun hair tie or something like that. It has to work, it has to look like you're not using a hair tie. Now scarves don't have to be all about your neck, you can actually wear them around your hair as a hair accessory and that'll really add to your outfit. So this one here is kind of gorgeous because it's got some beading so it actually has a little bit of weight to it. But if you take it through, depending on your face shape where you want to put it, but I think for mirror it works best actually to still have some of her hair framing her face. So you need to actually hold that quite still and quite, um, really can't just not pull her head off. Then you start tying a knot, and then you can just take both pieces over the front either side of you, and you've got this lovely thing happening here and then continuing down through here. Or another way to wear that is perhaps to take it just to the one side, 
Something to think about too is when you have two lines coming down through here, that adds width to your body. So actually taking it to one side can be much more flattering because you can't compare one side to the other. So that's a really nice way to wear a scarf. And particularly good if you don't have really good neck, but you can actually just get some elongation coming through this way with a pop of something going on in your hair. So hopefully now I've demystified scarves a little for you and shown you that they can really just add a bit of punch to your outfit. So whether you're wearing just a plain shirt or even a t-shirt, you can actually make it something quite special just with that scarf. So go out and grab yourself some, play around in front of your mirror and have a bit of fun with it. It's been really great talking to you. Remember, I'm Jackie O'Fee from Signature Style and I'd love to meet you sometime.